forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. The Ovikos, the living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. Hey, Neb, what can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah, do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Kaol? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Veritofix, the loyal servant of death, his side will ever reap the unworthy. Sir, we need more fighters. They're dying at an alarming rate. Then... Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no-name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, cannon boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. A med what? Ah, I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part like a vicious, mangy dog. Nah, nah, I have already got an Egyptian, a huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Siwa is a small place. I should go and see. <laughs> and 
telling you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? That's why I came to Fayum, to make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. Get out of my way! I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you? You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the C1 warrior? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> this is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama. It pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of a gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claimed to know how to handle his sword. Horus, he was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He is not much more than a bedpan now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you here. Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. Promise. <laughs> Not bad, old Stop man! It, <laughs> but you have only a pleasing vicious trick for a sand dog. I thought I had you! Okay, handsome. You 
you've got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. The crowd love unfair fights. Do not disappoint them. Or me. Taken to this new life easily. Can you see the look on their faces? They are all being stuck. These new sandbags are tougher than they look. Everything I want. Uh, oh. Sure, they notice us. for days. You are their dinner. Find me when you are ready. If what Kansas says is true, any of the gladiators could be working for the crocodile. There might be evidence here of the jobs the Gallic brothers did. Maybe even the identity of their patron. my shot at the Gallic brothers. And it's thanks to you. Hey, I would like nothing more. What about these other contracts you mentioned earlier? Oh, the righteous Bayek is willing to dirty his hands. Times have changed, Seni. I suppose it is hard to be a Magi all the time. You will have to ask Felix about those. Quietly. 
The best way to reach the crocodile is to beat the Gallic brothers. Felix, I've heard some gladiators are chosen for extra work. You heard wrong. And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. <laughs> your job, you upstart dog noble, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in the pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Sari. Put on a good show and we all profit.
sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you didn't be proud. Felix sent you out on a job. What was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. about pain and humiliation. <laughs> this is it, Fayette. Our big moment. They will build monuments and scroll our names across temples after this. We will be adored, rich, and champions! Isn't it? 
in me. I would have helped you. You're a mercenary. Just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? Hayek. Or death? You know me better than... Death. So it was Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who kills Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city, Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Kenneth and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we will be glad to see you again.
Yes. Shut 